but what happened is is we had uh, we had to hire somebody to do some work on the house and oh you know they they bill us later well we get the bill and um, you know I could understand if they char if they start charging on their clock from the time they leave the shop to get here and then to back the problem was is even if it took 25 minutes um, the bill was not adding up there was like at least an hour and a half extra on the bill from that which was quoted and you know there was some other silly stuff on there that was like really you know don't you? I mean they they were calling some other things as a rental when I'm thinking okay don't they have the equipment and then they just use it but they're they're charging us a rental fee for them to use to fix you know it's just very the whole thing was was really fishy and so um, I've shared in my past um, one of the spirits that I had to over, overcome was kind of like a righteous indignation kind of like a and I'm right but it's a so wrong thing because it's um it fuels a spirit of anger um, I had anger issues and and other things um, you know generationally things I engaged in as well that I was delivered from and so when this happened um, you know I, I begin churning inside so I'm like uh oh and see I'm recognizing that that old feeling you know that might is right and by golly and you know and the problem is that you have a tendency to want to badmouth the that which is wrong and and everything and so I'm very very conscious and every time I get that feeling I would begin to pray and I would begin to say you know I gave you that visualization of, of Jesus driving us in the car with the, the fuzzy dice right <laughs> and so I would have to just stop you know I wake up in the night and I knew that the enemy was trying to plant something in my dreams and I wake up and the first thing I'm thinking about is that dumb bill and being angry and so I'm like alright I know I know I'm going to have to speak to this person on the phone I'm going to have to call them I realize that but Lord I know I have to do this in the right way I cannot be fueled by anger and I cannot you know I, I know that the enemy is is desiring to to come back and so I just found myself praying and I was delaying I wasn't uh, hasty to make the call um, I was just very conscious of what I was doing so those thoughts would come I recognize it for what it is and I would begin to pray and I would begin to start to profess things of faith concerning my big God and what he was going to do for me that a dream and the dream I had was I was like on the back porch and I could see this this black dog and it was kind of reminiscent of, of one of extended family members dogs um, but I saw it and I knew I didn't want it on the back porch with me I knew I didn't want it and then out the window I could see this helicopter and it was having problems and I could see him talking and it's it seems like it's an imminent kind of crash but they're having time before they crash and then I look I look around and wouldn't you know that dog is in the back porch with me and I'm watching as this helicopter is starting to go lower and I'm grabbing this dog and this dog has this it's almost like it got a face on it like a human kind of face but it had that kind of look on its face you know and I'm grabbing it and I'm like no you are not coming in here and I'm putting it out and I'm shutting the door then I wake up from that dream and I recognize uh, you know with the battle that I had with this um, 
you know, this might is right in this uh, offense and, and just everything that's trying to assault me, I was recognizing what was going on. Um, a helicopter is kind of like a stationary thing, you know. Uh, it, it can stand. And it's kind of like saying kind of like this stronghold kind of thing. And that dog is what trying to come back, you know. Um, anytime I have a dream with a dog in it, it's generally some kind of spirit, you know, wanting to come back. It's not, not a good meaning for me. Uh, maybe different for you. But anyhow, um, yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like the whole thing was kind of interpreted and that helicopter, that stronghold was just crashing. And it wasn't only that dream, but I had another dream about helicopter crashing uh, either a few days before or a few days after or something. But um, I take note of these things, and I try to be patient and ingest it all, look, look in the natural and pray, and it all begins to make sense. And so that's exactly what was going on. So I called, I stated my case to a secretary, and, um, uh, you know, I, I said, you know, you can email me back or whatever. And they emailed back, and they took $130 off the bill. <laughs> and they didn't even quite apologize and state what, what the real thing happened was, you know. The, you know, so it's like that, then that you know, in me was like, oh, come on, why didn't you just come clean, you know, but I didn't do that, you know, it's like, um, I, after I had talked with her on the phone, I just began to set myself in a place of peace and acceptance, and that even, even if it would go wrong, and they would still bill us this crazy amount, that I was going to be okay, because God is my, uh, everything.